the idea that someone who was deaf and blind, at first blush, I was wondering what, what could they possibly do for us, which I don't imagine is, is too uncommon. Uh, but then when uh, I thought about it, I was especially pleased that our people wanted to do this. Uh, that there were a group of people here who'd come to us with the idea that they, we could do something here. So I wasn't surprised that they wanted to do something. I was a little surprised in terms of wondering what the intern might do, but then delighted uh, that, uh, that they wanted to. HGNC is a national program that uh, serves people who are deafblind, their families and professionals who are in the field of deafblindness, literally in all 50 states. Uh, we operate a network of regional offices and we have affiliations with state and private agencies and universities around the country. It's a challenge to find work experiences. We're constantly looking for um, partnerships with new employers. One of the ways we can convince a prospective employer to hire a person who is deafblind and give them the opportunity is to list examples of other corporations who have hired people who are deafblind and a benefit from it. I know one of the first names that we always mention is 1-800-Flowers, not just because of their reputation and that they're a national company, but we have enjoyed a very long-standing relationship with them over the years. When we approach a prospective employer about placing one of our students for an internship, we give them certain guarantees. We tell them that there will be staff available to come in and to work with the student on teaching them the parts of the job that they need to do. We also work with the coworkers who we assist in becoming more comfortable with a deafblind coworker. She needs to use the navigation keys on the braille display in order to move around on the screen. Let me show. Okay, you can scroll up and down using the navigation key. Let me show you. As an employment training specialist, um, part of my role is to teach um, job skills, but the other part is to build a relationship between not only 1-800-Flowers.com, but also Helen Keller National Center, the intern. Uh, initially, when I first came here, I brought in interpreting support when it was necessary. I also brought in assistive devices like the screen braille communicator. Um, there was training information that needed to be brailled. We utilize a lot of our internal technology to send out messages to all of our service centers and encourage them to interact with the deafblind, how to interact with the deafblind, what to do, what not to do. The first time that they told me that I would be the recipient of an intern who was deaf and blind, my immediate reaction was that I was going to have to babysit for this person sitting right next to me. Um, nothing could be further from the truth. As soon as I met her, uh, I immediately was able to communicate to her, both via the screen bail communicator uh, as well as through instant messaging. And she became a part of the family very, very quickly. And I was surprised at how self-sufficient she really was. We were blindfolded. We walked around the center here and felt what it's like to be blind. We were told the proper technique of holding the arm, guiding, feeling basically we need someone else's help. And all the, learn basically all the tips and techniques of what it's like to work in an environment such as pointingatflowers.com. I look forward to Wednesdays and Thursdays when they came in. And I went home feeling real good. And every time she accomplished something, she was quick, I felt real good about myself. The work experiences and the uh, internships are invaluable for us. In addition to the sense of accomplishment and the confidence that the person acquires having done the job, they then put that experience on their resume and with a possible letter of reference from their supervisor, that really enhances their ability to find jobs when they return home after completing their training at the center. There's a range of things we can do as corporate citizen, and I'm very proud that that the people at 1-800-Flowers wanted to get involved here 10 years ago and have embraced this program for all this time and all the other programs we're involved with. I think that companies and groups of people, because companies aren't anything but groups of people, can do amazing things and it's not just about writing a check, it's how they give of themselves and their own resources. And you can do it in a way that's not at all detrimental to the assets you're there to steward. In fact, you can do it in a way that it enhances those assets.